All right, so today I'm going to work on my HydroLink watering kit. So instead of having to add water into all these caps separately, I'm going, to add, I'm going to replace those caps with these and then hook up all this tubing as needed. Put the little plugs on where those are needed. Get this thing all plumbed up and then you can just hook this up to it and water it. So let's get started. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is replace all these caps with these caps. All right. Just like that. I need to get something to put these in. Let's just take these out. Okay, so if we look at this is the cap that I'm taking out, and this is what we're putting in. So what's going in, you see, has a little float in there so that when the water comes in here, as it fills up, this float will rise up and there's like a shutoff valve there. And that'll stop the water from coming in at the proper level. All right. So we just get all these caps in here and then these rotate to the right angle. I'm going to go here and then up here and here and here and down around like this all the way around. And that'll be one circuit and then I'll do a separate circuit over there. So I got all the caps on and now I got to cut all this tubing so that I can go between all of the connections. So let's get started on that. Okay, so I want to go from here to here. All right. Let's see how this works. Let's get out of here. And on there. There we go. Simple. So the next thing is to take these little caps and cap off all of the unused fittings. Let's go around and put all these on. All right, I guess I'll go ahead and do the other side. Get it plumbed up tonight and ready to go. Mm -hmm. All right, now I got both sides done. So I got a filler end over here and a filler end over there. Eight batteries on each circuit. All right, so tomorrow when it's fully charged, we'll try watering it. So we'll come back tomorrow. So we're not 100% charged, 98%. <clears throat> and turned everything off, so uh, it's getting later, so we don't have that much power coming in, but we're putting in three amps. So, I'm going to go ahead and give this a try for watering. I'm going to take this filler cap off. And I think I'm going to try, this is going to go, this is the filler hose. This is going to snap on here, just snaps into place. But, I th and this is the distilled water, right? So, put this in here. I'd kind of like to fill up this hose a little bit. First, so I'm not pumping too much. See there, get that, get the air out of it. All right, so that's good. Let's hook this in here. Click. All right, now got this hooked on. 
Got all the plumbing in. Let's go ahead and start squeezing the water in here while well, you can hear it going in. Wow. Can you hear that? Let me get that microphone down here. Listen to this. All right, now it just hit, or it's not taking any more. Did you hear that? <clears throat> so this got stiff, so it's not taking any more water. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off and probably make a mess. Oh, there we go. Cap this up right away. And that side should be done. All right, let's do the other side. It didn't take much. Hopefully that's working. I'm going to pull those caps off and take a look and see. But let's do this side. Pull that off. Click it in place. Now let's put the... like maybe that's it yep all right that's all that's all it's gonna take right there so let's get this off of here cap that over that side's done okay so anyway I filled both sides they look like they're full sure seemed like that side took a lot more water than this side so uh, I'm going to, next time I do this, I'm going to measure it more carefully and see. And if that side continues to pull more water than this side, then that's going to indicate some kind of problem. You know, why, why is that? Anyway, all right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.